And we're very excited to be giving away an amazing trip for two to Taiwan, touring with rainbow holidays and flying China Airlines. Hundreds are already in the draw and you have two more days to enter on our website. Now to tell us a little bit more about what our winners will be seeing, travel journalist Debbie Griffiths. Morning Debbie. Good morning. You've had a bit of a sneak peek at the itinerary? Yeah I have. It's a six day itinerary and I'm very jealous because it looks amazing. Of The winner's going to have an amazing time over there. So you fly straight to Taipei and you have a night to recover in Taiwan one capital so that's good and then days two and three you're heading south and then you're heading east into the sort of mountainous area you visit the famous Wenwu temple and then down to Sun Moon Lake and then you get to Kaohsiung which is a great city that's one of your favorites wasn't it yeah saying. yeah it is it's Taiwan's second largest city and it used to be this real industrial giant but it's really cleaned up and it's gone really green so I really enjoyed Kaohsiung it was gorgeous so when you're there you will notice the iconic tower that is 85 Sky Tower you'll know it because it looks like a big pronged fork sticking in the ground and uh, so when you go there try and get time to go up that tower because the 74th floor you have this amazing observation deck so from there, you'll look all around Kaohsiung and you'll be able to see Love River. That's the other landmark. And we did a boat cruise on Love River when we were there. And it was brilliant. It's a great way to see the city. And the river's been cleaned up as well, so no more pollution. So, oh, nice. Yeah, really good. And so after that, then, our winners are going to continue on south, aren't they? Yeah, so now we're heading right to the southernmost point in Taiwan. So right down to the southern region here. And this is where you'll go to Kenting National Park. So you're going to stop at the uh, Malbato Scenic Area which is volcanic rocks going into the ocean, so right on the coastline here. And you can see, if you use your imagination, the rocks look like a crouching cat. So that's what you're going to see, the rocks that look like a crouching cat looking out to the ocean. So that's Malbato. Then you'll continue around the coastline to Iluanbi Lighthouse. Now this is really significant historically for Taiwan and it's all, all, also at the southernmost tip, okay? So you're looking out over the ocean there. It's 21 metres high and it's one of the most powerful lights in Asia. So you can, the light can be seen 50 kilometres away. Oh, wow. Yeah, so it's, and the park is, uh, people go there to have their wedding photos taken so it is a beautiful part of Taiwan Sounds as well. Sounds extraordinary. Yeah. And then from that then you're going back up the, the up the eastern coast? Yeah, Potatoes? that's right. Now, I never got there on my trip, so very jealous of the people going on our trip that we're sending them on. You go up the eastern coast of Taiwan and uh, you'll get to see the Taroko Gorge, which is stunning, I'm told, and then back up to Taipei City. So you're back in the capital. And if you get time, you need to stay in Taipei and visit Taipei 101. Have you seen pictures of Taipei 101? There it is there, stunning. Gosh dominates the skyline there. So you would go up in the world's fastest elevator and at the top an amazing view of course right over Taipei. There's a great jewellery store at the top and there's also the damper inside tall buildings. It's the only one you can see that's on public display. So you can see how they stop all the vibrations inside this massive tower. And does it make you feel better about going up or worse about going it up? Did. You know what, they had, they were showing video when we were there of what happens during an earthquake and the people, because the damper itself, they're actually, it's on CCTV and the people weren't even really worried about it. That's how much it stopped the movement of the tower during an earthquake. Gosh, it was amazing. So definitely worth spending a day in Taipei if you can at the end of the tour? Yeah, really great markets and also downstairs in Taipei 1 101, the best dumpling restaurant ever. Din Tai Fung is there and they make about 12,000 dumplings a day in six seconds per dumpling. You can see them through the window in the kitchen making it gorgeous. Dumplings are amazing. Y dumplings mm. are amazing. <laughs> I'm converted. And really easy to find your way around in Taipei City as Good well. Good shopping as well? Brilliant shopping. Yes, take some money. Markets are amazing. Loads of gadgets, of course. Electronics. I came back with a few selfie sticks, <laughs> of course, as you do. Could you need more than one, Debbie? <laughs> Three hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, so great shopping. Oh, that's Absolutely. excellent. Hey, it sounds fantastic. Thank you so much, Debbie. Great tips, great advice. Now, if you want the chance to see all of that and more for free, go to the cafe website to enter the giveaway. Thanks to Rainbow Holidays and China Airlines. Thanks, Debbie.